Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed al -Banani. I'm a PhD student at the University of Michigan. I'm presenting our work on unsupervised point cloud registration via differentiable rendering. This is joint work with Luya Gao and Justin Johnson. Given two RGBD images of the same scene, we would like to align them into a single whole. Specifically, we're interested in learning this without relying on any pose or correspondence supervision. This is called RGBD point cloud registration, and it's a core component of SLAM and Structure from Motion. Recently, we've seen a lot of supervised registration approaches in robotics and scene reconstruction where RGBD data is common. However, with the rising prevalence of phone cameras with depth sensors, we can expect a new stream of raw RGBD data without the annotations needed for supervision. Unsupervised approaches can best leverage this new data stream. Let's first consider the standard registration pipeline. This consists of three stages, feature extraction, correspondence estimation, and transformation fitting. First, features are extracted from each view. While early work used handcrafted features like SIFT and spin images, recent approaches use stronger learned features like SuperPoint and FCGF. Next, correspondences are estimated between the two feature sets. This is typically done using nearest neighbor search, followed by filtering to handle outliers. Finally, the correspondences are used to fit the 6D transformation. While RANSAC is a common choice due to its simplicity and robustness, recent work has proposed differentiable methods for learning pipelines. We propose an unsupervised approach that registers and renders the scene and learns using the photometric consistency between the input and rendered frames. Our approach follows the standard pipeline, but only uses differentiable components for each stage. This allows us to train the model and to end from scratch without any supervision. Our approach is quite simple. Given two RGBD frames, we use randomly initialized CNN to encode the images. We then use the known camera intrinsics and depth to generate two point clouds where each point is represented by a 3D coordinate and a feature vector. We then find the nearest neighbors in feature space. As expected, the initial set has a lot of false positives. We tackle this by weighing each correspondence by the ratio between the feature similarity of the first and second nearest neighbors, just like the close ratio test. By only choosing the correspondences with the highest weights, we get dense and accurate correspondences as shown here. We use the differentiable weighted procrustis formulation proposed by Choi et al. to align the correspondences while maintaining the differentiability of our pipeline. Finally, we render the aligned point clouds using PyTorch 3D's differentiable renderer. We found that only rendering the points from the opposing frame allows us to achieve better registration performance by rendering the mutually visible surfaces of the scene. We train our model using two losses. The first is an L1 loss applied between the input and rendered frames. This is only applied to the rendered mutually visible portions of the scene. The second loss is applied to the residual error of the aligned correspondences. We evaluate our approach on ScanNet, a large dataset of RGBD video of indoor scenes. We evaluate our registration performance against two sets of baselines, ransack with handcrafted or learned descriptors, as well as supervised geometric registration approaches. First, we know that ransack achieves better recall with learned features than it does with handcrafted ones. This is especially true for FCGF. Furthermore, combining FCGF with supervised geometric registration methods further improves its performance. Those methods are trained with supervision on 3D Match. When we train our approach in 3D Match, it's competitive with the supervised approaches. However, 3D Match is a relatively small dataset with only 71 training videos and is not very suitable for unsupervised learning. By training on a larger scale dataset like ScanNet, we see further improvements in performance. This strong performance, especially against supervised methods, demonstrates the efficacy of our approach and the promise of unsupervised training on large scale RGBD video datasets. We can extract accurate and dense correspondences despite only using a simple ratio test for filtering, but we're still challenged by cases where there's plain and repetitive texture, as well as limited overlap between the two frames. In conclusion, we propose an unsupervised approach to point cloud registration that learns from RGBD video datasets. Our approach combines classical ideas such as correspondence and ratio test with novel ideas such as differentiable alignment and rendering. Our approach can show strong performance even against supervised geometric registration methods, despite being unsupervised. Thank you, and please visit our project page for more information.